Und damit der von der Sonderfolge von Let's Play Genshin Impact. Ja, meine Lieben, in der letzten Folge haben wir ein bisschen gefightet und haben herausgefunden, dass irgendwelche von diesen ja, von diesen Räubern wohl mit diesem Weihrauch diese verrückten Weisen rausgetrieben haben. Und wir werden äh, in diesem Part, sag ich mal, rausfinden, wer da alles noch mehr dahinter steckt. Bin gespannt. Und ihr solltet es auch sein. Wenn euch das Projekt gefällt, gern Daumen hoch, gern abonnieren und gerne unserem Discord joinen, Leute. Am liebsten würde ich eine Genshin-Party machen mit allen Leuten, die Genshin gerne zocken. Also kommt gerne her. Ich bin jetzt erstmal gespannt, was heute passiert. Gehen wir noch tiefer in die, äh, in die Wüste? Oder was wird passieren? Es ist nicht abzusehen. Ja, wie geht's euch so? Was habt ihr euch heute gemacht? Ich habe gearbeitet, wie immer. <lacht> ja, wundervoll, ich weiß. Warum zum Teufel dauert das Laden gerade so lange? Ich glaube, da passiert was. Da passiert was Größeres. Well, as you can see, I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. You were gone for ages, and now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself? Where have you... Hey, what's with the silence? You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. <laughs> Paimon's so mad! Paimon's gonna give you an ugly nickname! Well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. So clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Anyway, you plan to leave Aru village and keep searching for the truth of this matter, yes? <sighs> yep. We're not gonna find out anything more by staying here. So we thought that we might as well take the search elsewhere. <sighs> Enough with the silent treatment! No. I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. All Haytham, you haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Bold of you to question our choices. Yeah, you're all talk! While you were investigating, I had my own work to do. Really? Hyman doesn't believe you. To be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. Not to mention that going separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Huh? Right here in the village? Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. What does that mean? How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what we're doing? In other words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? You mean, some of them lied to us? Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these people have their reasons. Remember what Gandis said? Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. That's because whether King Deshret or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believed there was no further information to be found in this village. Glad you're following along. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In fact, she's been observing your every move since you arrived. The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, 
Any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. You look like a real fighter. Don't change the subject. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority and strength. R right. You were asking about the vi I mean, the mad scholars. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are King Deshret fanatics in the village. If she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers, she could easily make herself the radical's neck. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Then why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. I'll pass on this one. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. We're on it! Als ob hier gelogen wird. Das, das finde ich nicht gut. Das unterstütze ich nicht. Ja, wo ist das da? Aber klar, wenn man Angst hat, dann fällt man sich und passt sich an. Miss Shawnee, as we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. Mr. Alhatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? Huh? What do you mean? We need to clarify our stance or something? Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? Uh, may I call you tra uh, Hi, Traveler. I want to ask you some. Do you think the resurrection of King Deshret can truly change Sumeru for the better? No. Why is that? Then she brings Krik. That's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. Before, I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? Ich kann es nicht versprechen, aber ich tue mein Bestes. Yeah, we came here from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. But even so, we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. We have friends in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. Uh. I want to trust you. My apologies for posing my questions like that. To be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. Oh, hey, them told us you have your reasons. It's okay. We understand. The fact is that I'm... Only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Some believe in the Dendro Archon while others believe in King Deshred. I don't belong to either side. And Speaking of which, the Radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who's different from them is a traitor? Yeah. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. It makes no difference what I say or how I behave. I'll always be suspected of having ulterior motives. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I w and then it happened. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation, and I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone. Until now. You can tell them. I'm sure she'll keep your secret. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what I told Alhatham. 
I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Sometimes, I hear strange crying sounds in the night. <laughs> there are ghosts? Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance. It used to be louder and more frequent. But ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it does, it's much quieter. I have to focus really hard to make it out. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds at night. But, because we're in the middle of a desert, he would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar, but it's been abandoned for years. Yeah, then let's go to this hospital. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Gibt's da ein... Teleport... Äh ist der oben oder ist der unten? Das ist die Frage. Das ist der Teleporter, wo ich nochmal war, wo wir dann in, zu diesem Boss gegangen sind, glaube ich. Der sollte oben sein. Und dann sollten wir gar nicht so weit weg sein zu dem Punkt, wo wir hin müssen. Ja, ja. Ich bin nicht mal gespannt. Oh, die Musik in der Nacht ist aber auch interessant. Oh. Ich will nicht kämpfen, lasst mich. Ich wollte auch nur den Sand... ...nicht aufwachen. Ja, ist okay. Leg dich schlafen. Ach nö, warum ist das befacht? Monster, Monster. Stop. Wir pusten uns erstmal, bevor es irgendwas passiert. Mm. Ganz ruhig. Ja, das ist wieder Herstellung. Ich habe das andere noch nicht gemacht. Muss reichen. Jetzt, let's go. Knowledge. Na, wie geht's euch? Na, du? Tot. <lacht> die Effekte sind cool. Gibt mehr? Wo, wo, wo? Oha. Ähm, hi. Das hat nicht getroffen. Video Beweis. Ich war da eindeutig auf dem Weg. Also, das ist lächerlich. Sehe ich auch nicht. Mehr. Attacke! Oh, die Attacke macht immer alles. Die lauteste Musik. Kämpfen dreht die halt richtig auf, obwohl ich die eigentlich schon leiser gemacht habe, dass sie in dieser Situation nicht so läuft. Komm, Elsie. Gut. Ja, Hessen, wir hätten das sonst auch aktiviert ohne dich, keine Sorge. Let's go in and take a look. Hier durchsucht das verlassene Krankenhaus gewissenhaft. Ich glaube, ich war da schon mal drin. Och nö, und jetzt muss man da wirklich rein wegen der Story. Hey, 
patience. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Until then. Da sind Notizen, keine Sorge. I'm taking a break. <sighs> And just like that, he sits down. Wait, he even brought a book to read? What are you reading? Let Paimon see. Okay, sure. Position, which is the positional propensity of an entity in natural motion in contrast with an object in forced motion? Huh? When free from external influences, every entity displays the tendency to follow its natural trajectory? So, um, you got that? Oh, Paimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. How is he so relaxed? Look at him. Reading an impossible book in a creepy place like this. Hey, Paimon's your Tibet travel guide. Paimon knows plenty of useful stuff already. And anyway, it's not Paimon's fault that the books people read in Tamaru are so complicated. There it is. It's coming from that direction. Guys, though. Is the sound coming from here? Huh. Paimon's not seeing anything. Hmm? It's from below. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. Something is off about the interior here. Ab nach unten. Hmm. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. Wow. It's like they tucked another hospital into this one. Or it looks like there are other mechanisms around here. Let's keep exploring. What? Warum sind wir? Ha? Ja, aber ich habe schon welche gesehen. Ja, ja. Ihr macht da mal schön weiter, ja. Schön nur gucken. Hallo. Hey, kein Stress jetzt. Kann keinen Stress gebrauchen. Bitte, nein, lass mich doch. Ich bin auch nur ein netter. Oder oh, unten ist eine Säule. Muss ich da für euch besiegen? Das ist so verbunden. Das kann das sein. Ich weiß es doch nicht. Ey, du Mistvieh. Okay, das ist damit verbunden. Warte mal auf damit. Ich war immer nett. Dann sowas. Ey! Irgendwelche Komplexe? 
könnt ihr ja gerne mit mir teilen. So. Das geht doch. Gut. Was habe ich hier mein Temple of Wisdom noch? Wo ist die letzte? Aha. Oh ne! Ich hab nichts getan. Aha. Easy. Let's go deeper. Oh, hi. Ich war hier schon mal. Ähm, Patient aber ist männlich 23 Jahre alt, hat deine Mutter mal schwebender akuter Lebens Todesgefahr ohne die Behandlung durch einen Spezialist aus dem Leben des Patienten. Sobald dies entdeckt wird, muss sofort die eine Benachrichtigung erfolgen. Du darfst die Hoffnung nicht aufgeben und musst optimistisch bleiben. Wisse, dass alle unter dem Blick der Götter stehen und gib auf keinen Fall auf. Aufgrund des hohen Alters des Dokuments und des damit einhergehenden schlechten Zustands ist der restliche Text nicht mehr entzifferbar. Oh Gott. Ich lese das jetzt nicht alles vor. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyok. Leaving that question aside for the moment, him being here alone means that we might be too late. Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Loaded with people? That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry, as if they were afraid of being caught. The symptoms are identical. Huh? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? Stimmt, da war was. <lacht> Aber das war rot da sein. Akasha Kontrollgerät. Der Verrückte von der Goldbrigade. Oh, now that you mention it, there... Correct. The Academia is behind all of this. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the Academia spread a false rumor of King Dashrit's resurrection. Emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since King Deshret's death all those years ago. Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Anyone looking to exploit that for their own end simply needs to make a few empty promises. Even if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of King Deshret and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. 
It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Resource? For what exactly? One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. Extracted? You mean, canned knowledge comes from people's brains? With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's Oof. entirely possible. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. So, the human brain... Nope! Nah! Hyman doesn't want to think about this! I'm the Academia Scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. Anyway, judging by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind. But... Something went wrong in the process, or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. Uh, Hyman's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? Nein, falsch. Die meisten dieser wahnsinnig gewordenen Gelehrten waren im Wald mit der göttlichen Erkenntnis verbunden. Das ist es, was die Akademie will. Man kann sogar sagen, dies Wissen hat mit dem Fatui Ildador und Scaramouche zu tun. Sie nutzen es, um Scaramouche in ein Gott zu verwandeln. Oha. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. Die Akademie braucht Leute, die mit der göttlichen Erkenntnis in Berührung gekommen sind. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The Academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge. But what is their ultimate goal? I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. And you mean you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge, but I'm not particularly interested in gods. Extracting information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, Sounds like you're really against all this. Of course. The Academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs to be corrected. Just like fixing a typo in a book. Wait, didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? Not to be callous, but no. My there is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. What do you plan to do about that? Um, probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. You can say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. The Divine Knowledge Capsule is something I want to investigate in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Er lehnt zwar höhere Gerechtigkeit und Verantwortung ab, aber er kennt die Logik von den extrem individuellen Handlungen an. So eine Person ist vielleicht gut als Kamerad geeignet. Though I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. There's nothing more to it than that. <sighs> he won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru Village.
Das machen wir beim nächsten Part. Ach, so schöne, schöne Runde Folge geworden. Im nächsten Part gehen wir zurück zum Arudorf und wir treffen uns mit allen so ein bisschen Besprechungen. Wenn ihr das nicht verpassen wollt, solltet ihr den nächsten Part von Let's Play Genshin Impact einschalten. Also nicht verpassen und Like da lassen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.